How you doing everyone? This is Joey Boy and I'm going to be bringing you some more Pokemon Showdown Live. Uh, we're going to get right into it. I'm um, using a offensive team that I built very recently. It's, it's pretty much just fun to use. Um, utilizes uh, two different Focus Sash Pokemon. Uh, let's get right into it. He's using a very weird Sun team. And we're going to lead off with Breloom. Get off that early game Spore if possible. Um, now, if Infernape is a Focus Sash variant, he might focus, uh, he might fake out here. But, that's alright, we're just gonna Spore. See if we can't get something to sleep. Right in the Ninetales. There's the sleep. With that, we're gonna Focus Punch. He's either gonna switch, or if he doesn't, Ninetales is taking a whole lot of damage. And he's using a Rocky Helmet Ninetales, which is, a uh, very weird. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Gonna mock punch, try and take it out. There we go. That's one Pokemon down. Into Victini. Um Yeah, we're just gonna mock punch. We could potentially save Breloom to get off another spore, but I don't know if there's many other Pokemon he's gonna be able to do it on. Spinda would be really the only one. So we go Mach Punch just to get the teeny bit of damage before we go down. And now into Terrakion. We're just going to go for Stone Edge. Try and take it out. I uh, don't have to think too hard with this team. It's just a regular old offense. So there's Infernape. Um, we're going to Stealth Rock here. Try and get those up. He uses assist B create. That's kind of cool, I guess. Um, so this is obviously one of those assist V create teams with uh, Spinda, um, which has that ability that reverses uh, negative boosts. So when Spinda uses V create, it gets boosted in defense, special defense, and speed rather than getting taken down. Uh, we're going to close combat here, see if we can't get it off, but nope. The assist we create. Um, now, we can't go into Jirachi uh, because he has the priority assist v create. Um, we are going to go into. Not sure if Cloyster can live one. Can't really go out into Dragonite because Ditto can take its boosts. Although maybe then Cloyster can set up on. Yeah, we're gonna go into Dragonite. We're just gonna go for Outrage. Get some damage done. Stisted V Create. Still doing quite a lot considering uh, Dragonite resists and has multi scale. There we go. Now, yep, Ditto, he's going to Outrage here. And he's going to take out my Dragonite. But now, we can set up with Cloyster. Shell Smash. Outrage doing 58%, which is quite a lot. Um, but he is now outsped and taken out by Icicle Spear. But boom, only needs one hit because we get a crit. That's overkill. Into Spinda. And we're just going to Icicle Spear again. Oof, another crit. I'm actually using a King's Rock Cloister, trying that thing out. Because with King's Rock, uh, each hit of both Icicle Spear and Rock Blast uh, have a chance to flinch. So you get something like 41% chance to flinch with those moves. Uh, it's not too reliable, and I'm thinking of switching it up, but I wanted to give it a go. So there you go. First game done and out of the way. I'm just going to go right for another one. Same team. And he's using uh, an offensive team. We're going to just lead with Breloom again. Um, if he leads... With anything other than Espeon, we're still not going to Spore because the switch is wicked obvious. 
Yep, and there's his Espeon. We're just going to Bullet Seed here. Get some damage off. Critical hit. Whew. And he reflects. Bullet Seed again. And we're getting pretty low. We're actually faster than it, which is interesting. So if we get a decent uh, roll with Bullet Seed, we'll take out Espeon. And there's his switch into Metagross. That's all right. Doing very little damage. And we're going to Spore here. He, uh, he probably had the Bullet Punch, but if we didn't, that was a free spore. So he's got the reflect. Um, we're gonna go into Starmie, and we're just gonna fire off a Life Orb Hydro Pump. Uh, I don't think it. Oh, and a miss is unfortunate. Okay. Well, we're probably gonna lose Starmie here, which is kind of annoying because uh, it's our Rapid Spin support. But we really don't want to switch into anything. Dragonite can avoid the Earthquake, but... Yeah, just going to have to click Hydro Pump again. 75%, so if that had one hit, we would be in the clear. Bit of unfortunate, but that's what you do. Um, I've been thinking about switching the Hydro Pump to Surf, just to have better consistency over ladder. Um, we're going to go into Terrakion. He's going to be able to bullet punch us here, but we can take it out with close combat. And he doesn't bullet punch, so that's even better. We get to uh, maintain Drakion's Focus Sash. Into Espeon. We're just going to close combat here again. He will definitely be able to do 20% to Espeon. And since he's running some, probably a bulky Espeon, uh, because it was slower even than Breloom, we didn't have to worry about it setting up a uh, a Reflect. We're going to taunt Gliscor here, and that's alright, because Cloyster sets up really well on Gliscor. So we're going to get up rocks, just in case, like, Cloyster, his Cloyster is sashed. Now we can go into our Cloyster, and set up that Shell Smash. Um, and the best thing he's got here is, yeah, Earthquake or Acrobatics. But it doesn't matter. Icicle Spear looks like a sweep. Because um, Rock Blast takes out Cloyster. Icicle Spear take out the other two. Um, Icicle Spear. Again. That's a one, a two hit kill. Yep, looks like we're going to be sweeping with Cloyster this game. Which is pretty cool. Uh, actually, when I was testing this team, uh, Cloyster was the only Pokemon who wasn't carrying his weight. So it's funny that when I'm using it on the live now, it's kicking major butt. Uh, Cloyster's cool because you can set up on a lot of physical threats, which is nice. Um, but the King's Rock hasn't come in too handy yet. King's Rock is cool because you can use it to get past Pokemon that should counter you. Uh, things like maybe Jirachi, you know, you have a 41% chance to flinch it and then get the two-hit KO. And we're going to go for one more. Why not? Let's see if we can't. So he's using a team that, if I had to guess, would be a... Custap Skarmory, um, where he tries to get up hazards as quickly as possible. Um, so we're actually going to leave with Terrakion, try and taunt this Skarmory right off the bat. Yep, and there you go, he's leading with Skarmory, as I thought he would. Might Brave Bird here, and he roosts, which is a weird move. Um, he's going to go into Scizor, and I'm just going to close combat. Um, get off damage. There you go, he's going to U-turn here, or Swords Dance. But that's alright, we'll be able to take it out. He should really know that I'm Focus Sashed. Uh, Terrakions that lead tend to be. Um, so here you go, I live, thanks to Sash, and I take out his Scizor. Um, 
Custap uh, leading hazard teams have become to be much more popular ever since uh, Deoxys D was banned to Ubers. We're just going to taunt Skarmory here again. If he has Brave Bird, he can take us out. There it is. Um, but now we're going to go into Breloom. Try and sleep something. Hit the Spore button. Skarmory goes to sleep. That's good. It's walling both. Uh, well, yeah, it's, it's pretty much walling uh, Dragonite and Cloyster. Kind of, although a cloister has a hydro pump. It also might not be a bulky Skarmory, which is kind of weird. Anyway, we're going to hit Focus Punch. He switches. Uh, the Gengar really was obvious. If I would taken a little more time there, I probably wouldn't have made that play. Um, we're going to Bullet Seed. He's going to sub up. I think two hits break a sub, so phew, critical hit. That's a bit unfortunate for him. Um, because if we get a good roll with Bullet Seed, we take it out here while maintaining Breloom, thanks to Sash. There you go. Gengar goes down. Um, that critical hit definitely mattered. Um, but that is how the game goes. Keldeo comes in. Uh, I have a feeling it's choice. Most of them are. If I had a guess, it would be Choice Scarf. So we're just going to get up a little bit more damage with Breloom with Mog Punch before it goes down to Secret Sword and so now there you go it's actually Life Orbed um, into Starmie. Starmie's Thunderbolt will definitely be able to take it out there you go click the Thunderbolt he doesn't have a whole lot to take Starmie really right now Heatran will go down to Hydro Pumps uh, same with Terrakion. Skarmory's going to go down to this Thunderbolt. I'm using a cool new set that I've been uh, working with recently, which is an analytic Life Orb Starmie. Um, what analytic does is that if you are the last person to attack, uh, your move gets a 30% increase boost, and that also counts on the switch. So this Starmie's really good at being a pure rapid spinner because even if the opponent has something like Jellicent, an analytic boosted Life Orb Thunderbolt on the switch will two hit Kyo. Anyway, he brings in Terrakion. We're just going to Hydro Pump here. He might be Scarfed looking to X Scissor, but you know. Um, we're going to set up with Cloyster because we can. And we have the potential to see King's Rock work in this game because. Keldeo is his best switch, but he's going to go into Heatran. Um, it's a balloon Heatran, which means it's more uh, likely that it's offensive rather than uh, special defensive. With that, we're going to Hydro Pump. If we don't miss, I believe this should take it out. Yep. And the crit, I'm almost positive it doesn't matter. Um, into Keldeo. And at this range, I'm pretty sure Icicle Spear KOs regardless. So again, we don't get to see King's Rock in action. Uh, but that is going to be good game. Um, pretty sure Icicle Spear KOs. Yeah, easy. So there you go. That's going to be the first uh, three... 3-0 and wins. Um, I'm using the Joey Boy alt again since the ladder got reset. Sorry I haven't had a video in too long. Um, you know, between Smogan being down and then Pokemon Showdown being down off and on. Uh, a few days ago I was trying to cord and then I was being disconnected during the battles. So I just thought, let's wait until things are running more smoothly. And during that time, I was just team building. So this is the team I did recently. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll be doing more videos much more often now, as long as Pokemon Showdown stays online. Uh, a series I thought about doing was a series of me learning uh, a new tier. I'm a primarily an OU player. Um, that's where I enjoy the most. Um, and I've always thought about learning something like 
uh, black and white UU. I hear a lot of great things about it, and I thought it might be a fun series um, where I would do just very minimal research into UU before. You know, I've read like smog articles, um, like UU 101. So I would do that and then just try and ladder UU. And you guys would be able to learn along with me, or, you know, if you're better at the underused tier, you could leave me comments talking about uh, things I could do differently. Anyway, if there's a different tier you guys want me to learn, let me know in the comments. I will do really anything you guys want. Otherwise, uh, subscribe, um, like the video if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.